Hey guys, it's currently 4.11 a.m. and I can't sleep. ADHD has me um, multitasking like crazy and even though I should be asleep, I just cannot sleep. Um, this was a great week. I gained a lot of followers. I got some new viewers on Twitch and my YouTube channel is growing. Twitter is going, it's growing. Everything is going great and um, that should be just good news but that also bombards my anxiety and takes away my sleep so since i cannot sleep i'm going to react to a video um keep in mind a little bit of context about the video i'm going to react to osmongold does not play genshin osmongold has never played genshin and he's going to have some incomplete or wrong takes that i'm going to address and correct as we go along but in any case um as I was casually watching three videos at the same time and uh, clipping my stream, I came across this video and I have to react to it. I just, I just have to. So what better time than I'm, when I'm not able to sleep, right? Okay, so here we go. So, bro, people have been molding about Genshin. Like, I'm talking <clears throat> like big mold. It's really stupid. Okay, so I, I have to, I have to stop for a second. Because it's so stupid, I feel stupid explaining it. China. So, it's actually in Singapore now, to be fair. Uh, MiHoYo uh, was... They made a new island in Genshin Impact. And the characters didn't have dark enough skin. First of all, it's not a new island. It's a new continent. For people on Twitter. So, people on Twitter have gone on a multi-month rampage harassing everybody associated with the company that they possibly can because the game isn't re reinforcing what they believe the skin colors of the characters should be um <clears throat> that is true what he's saying here is absolutely correct there's a large i mean not large but very vocal group of people on on twitter that's blasting Mihoyo about Natlan ever since it was announced because the characters do not have enough dark, dark enough skin or are uh, making cultural appropriation of uh, other races without um, translating the characters to look like they should look like. Just like nitpicking specific characteristics instead of like making the character much more, more faithful to reality. And there have been petitions and there have been um, harassment of voice actors and things like that. But let's continue. Talked about everything about the travelers at the end of the preview program. There's more to this, by the way. Yeah, true. And now the way is going to cry. What's he crying for? He crying. He think about how much money they're gonna make. No, that's not what he's, he's crying for. Yeah, he's thinking about how much money he's gonna spend, or how, how much money they're gonna spend on this game, man. This live stream went crazy. This is nuts, man. For the past year, the Genshin development management team has also personally experienced a lot of anxiety and hesitation. Okay, so I gotta stop here. The reason the Genshin team has experienced a lot of anxiety and hesitation was not because of the racial thing that has nothing to do with it Netlin was just revealed at most two months ago and they started getting harassed about two months ago for about the Netlin thing that's not what he, what he is trying to relate here what he's trying to relate here is that the, the Genshin fell off um, character sales are not doing as good as they used to do. It's uh, not even remotely comparable. Um, Fontaine wasn't as good as pe people initially thought. And the game got a lot less attention than they, they, they hoped. And um, HSR and uh, Wuthering Ways kept getting better at more attention and better views than Genshin has, getting, has been getting. Also, there's a lot of controversy about um, the way Genshin doesn't reward its players as much as HSR does <clears throat> and as much as Weathering Wave started doing. So Genshin got a lot of hate, not because of the racial thing, because that's isolated to 
uh, basically North American players on Twitter, but mostly because everywhere, including China, started questioning Genshin because of the of not giving enough rewards, um, not giving enough wishes and things like that. Like Hoyo being a lot more generous to HSR players than they were to Genshin players. And that's something that has been going on ever since AJ HSR came out. But especially when HSR had its first birthday, uh, its first one year anniversary, they gave out um, a lot of wishes. I think it was 20 wishes or so, or 30. I'm not entirely sure. But Genshin gave us like three wishes or something like that. So Hoyu got a lot of criticism from that. And once Weathering Waves came out, then Genshin went down the drain even further because of all the generosity from the people at uh, Wuthering Waves. So what he is basically uh, crying about here is all the hate that Genshin has been getting throughout the last year, unrelated to the ratio thing, and way more related to um, wishing and generosity and the way that players are treated in general. HSR not only got a lot more wishes than Genshin, but also um, every suggestion, every <clears throat> change that players ever requested for Genshin were implemented in HSR and not in Genshin. At least not with the same speed for most of them. So that's what this is all about. Um, this, is, has, this has very little to do with the ratio controversy. Which, by the way, um, the VAs that got harassed and actually uh, snapped back at... at viewers and players of the game have been start started have been uh, getting fired they just started to get fired so that's also something that people are kind of celebrating on Twitter right now anyway let's continue yeah so basically I wonder why I wonder where all that har uh, all that anxiety and hesitation came from I, I actually I know where it came from it came from people in America and in the West that have to take medication because of how bad their anxiety is that then fucking put that out onto other people. Yeah, no, I, I know exactly, yeah. Again, remember, Asmongold does not play Genshin, so he's aware of Genshin's dramas through Tectone and through re uh, watching videos, but he never played Genshin, so he's not aware of the, you know, minutia of the game and the stuff that happens on the game all the time. Um, and as we know, Genshin also had a lot of controversy regarding content creators as well. Um, basically, if you if you look ever since HSR came out to today, Genshin has had a lot of drama um, in all possible ways, and um, that's what he's talking about here. It, it wait no is he talking? Do you think the entire company they're only talking about Tectone? Do you think this is entirely No, just it's not about Tecton. Oh, fuck. That could be it. We've gone through a tough time. There were some very harsh voices. Uh-oh. It said it was nothing good about Genshin. Genshin Development Management Team. Yeah? Yeah? Again, this is about HSR initially, and then a little bit about weathering waves, but it's not about racial things in that lane. The Genshin team is so arrogant, they don't listen to everyone's opinions. See, this is what I mean. What he's saying here, uh, that Genshin team is being arrogant and things like that, is that Genshin was considered too big to fail until Wuthering Waves and HSR started offering a lot more and then people started boycotting Genshin in mobile, mobile sites and stores and leaving bad reviews and that that's what he's talking about player feedback in all forms and not from North, North America but everywhere especially China as a JIG colleague participated in live, we feel like the players and travelers, we feel it too, just for us. We heard so many voices, so we need to calm down. 
We must discern which voices are truly from tr How is China so based? Yeah, but um, China is based, Asmite, but that the voices that are not from travelers include you and Tecton because you don't play the game, just saying. I don't know how this happened. Yeah. Genshin team and I are so lost and confused. We decided to go back to our roots. I know what they should do. They should add in a building system where you can put different pieces of the environment together and then turn those pieces into like a workable boat or like some sort of tool or something like that. Because you know how their roots were stealing from Legend of Zelda. Well, Tears of the Kingdom came out, right? And that's the new game. So maybe they should just go steal that now instead. We've always had that in the form of the tea, uh, the teacups. So, um, basically, what he's saying is we should be able to construct things from the environment. We already can do that. That's basically a Genshin housing. So yeah, again, he doesn't play the game, so he's not. He doesn't know that. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> smart. We came this far, what's the... Came this far because all the travelers present and absent, thank you so much. Many travelers supported us from the beginning. We've come this far thanks to many of the voices of you. At the beginning of this year, we were wondering how to move forward into the future. Side after talking to the Genshin team. Let's go and listen directly to the voices of travelers along the world. No wonder they've been stressed out. Many places for the first time. Cities in China, other countries. I felt I traveled to each traveler. Travelers are so cute. Oh my, oh my god. One day I happened to meet up with a certain traveler at Jingya. <laughs> you were away? He said we are the wrong, that we are the wrong people. Teammate tried hard to convince him, lying and saying it's the wrong person, he's not the way. But he knew the way. <laughs> <laughs> said about his girlfriend during Corona period, how they played Genshin together. Wow. Playing Genshin Impact together with your girlfriend during COVID. How romantic. It is. I, I think I think it is. I'm going to have to tell you, I kind of I like That's wholesome. I do. I like him, man. Yeah, that way school. I mean, obviously he's in for the money, but he, he obviously yeah, like yeah. loves the game. Certain traveler for the Genshin classmate from the same dormitory forced him to do it during coronavirus, naturally. They tried to do that to me. We received a lot of love for Genshin, many opinions about Genshin. Yeah. I asked everyone why they left and they couldn't come to Taewat for a long time. That's the new zone, right? No, Asmund Teyvat is the name, of the, the name of the world. Again, he doesn't play, so he doesn't know. He, uh, he, what Dawei is ca talking about is why players left Teyvat, which means why players stopped playing the game, and what will cause them to come back. Uh, I can tell you why I stopped playing and why I'm going to come back in 5.0. I stopped playing because I thought Fontaine was um, very bad compared to every expansion before it because of all the combat and uh, traveling inside water which removes all your abilities and feels like a mini game instead of like actual content and um, Fontaine did not feel engaging it did not feel good at least for me and most of the five stars were also very uninteresting for me so I took a break I honestly did and I'm coming back for 5.0 because the what everything that the game is going to offer in 5.0 very much speaks to me and i think they've learned a lot from fontaine and uh, from their mistakes and i believe that the story going going forward is going to get even better and it's going to start involving a lot more of the core story of genshin so i think that the next expansion will be really really good i can't wait for natland Listen to everyone's voices one by one.
We had many meetings with the Genshin team. We achieved one common understanding. What is it? <coughs> Genshin will always be friends with Traveler, and we will walk together. It's the only thing that will not change. Everything else can be changed. What, what does that mean? What that means is that um, up until Fontaine, Gen the Genshin development team had very strict policies and beliefs on what Genshin should have for Endgame, on what Genshin should have for uh, Wishes, on how the game should progress. It was all very static and it was all very unchange uh, unchangeable. Um, every feedback that they got that people suggested changes was ignored. And a lot of just the a lot of the that feedback is finally getting addressed, including letting us select a standard five star character for free, including more end game content, including making things less grindy and other things. So they're finally listening. And why are they listening? Because the game has had huge boycotts, has had a lot of uh drop and sales of characters and a lot of lost revenue because of all their stubbornness that's why now on trailer we saw a lot of changes in in us game content benefits various improvements yeah sure the devs listened yeah imagine that travelers can have fun playing genshin everything can be changed well yeah of course keep in mind this is a huge change in policy and in speech like what what you, you can tell by the way he's speaking right now compared to every single public address be it by interviews be it by mail be it by um previous genshin presentations they uh their discourse and their speech completely changed and they're way more open now because they saw that players have the power to change things that uh, really impact the game by playing other games, by playing other games, boycotting and leaving negative reviews. And they, we, we actually reached them. We got them to make changes. Talking to them the first year and a half. We also received a lot of encouragement. Yeah, I think like Genshin is a game, like from what I've seen it, like the game plays extremely well. It does. Like, uh, and this is a big problem that a lot of games have. Uh, let me just compliment this by saying, uh, Weathering Waves to me is fun, but it's not as fun as Genshin. Because uh, Weathering Waves, you can have several characters use different moves. But it, they don't react. The whole fun of the Genshin combat is the elemental reaction and setting up different combos with different characters to create different, um, not only reactions, but reaction durations and um, timings and things like that. And Wuthering Waves does not have that. Wuthering Waves combat system is way more simple. Sure, it has, it has one more button, but because there's no reactions, it's way more simple. Um, Genshin has a lot more depth to it, thanks to the reaction. And uh, the only part of all the player feedback that they're missing address is to give us even more reactions. Um, a lot of creators have talked about how um, geo reactions are so bad and they should be improved. And um, the creation of other reactions as well. And they largely ignore that so far. But... Um, they could gain so much by, by listening and actually creating new reactions and setting up new reactions as well. Um, in, uh, revisiting geo reactions and improving on that front as well. So, yeah, they have been listening, but there's still a little ways to go. Is that they don't play well? Like they don't move <coughs> the characters? Yeah, it, Wuthering Waves is better. No, it's I not. I think Wuthering Waves is very good, but Wuthering Waves is... Like, there's more freedom of motion, I think, in Wuthering Waves, which makes it, does. it better that and it does. worse. Because, like, there's some choppiness with it, and when you add iframes, it can be hard for people to understand that. Like, the Wuthering Waves movement is good, it's very good, and I like the combat for it. 
but Genshin Impact is obviously like a little bit more of a relaxed version of that. Uh, again, he never played Genshin, so he doesn't know that Genshin's combat system is way deeper because its enemies have shields to get a break, you got reactions, enemies uh, are weaker to a certain type of element, and Weathering Waves has uh, a little bit of that, but nowhere near close to what Genshin offers in that front. <coughs> Visually, I think Weathering Waves combat looks way better. It doesn't. Again, you never played Genshin, so you wouldn't know. All the travelers in the corner of the audience. I wonder if this guy knows who Tecton is. Yeah, I, I wonder if I wonder if he knows who Tecton is. A hundred percent, he does. I don't know I if he does or not. Have like a name for him. You know, since like, you know, did they call him Tectone? Or did they... Asmon, again, doesn't play Genshin and doesn't know that most of the feedback that actually reaches the developers are from China. So they might be aware of who Tectone is. I'm not saying they're not. They might be. But um, their awareness of the impact Tectone has, or even the actual impact that Tectone has, is not as big as as he thinks it is because again Genshin is played all over the world and Tecton influences only North America and not even the entire play base just a part of it call him like loud bald or something like that I wonder yeah <laughs> the white ochre <laughs> oh god Build all travelers to watch Genshin team. Yeah, for sure. This is really nice. Eggman, Baltimore. Things haven't turned out the way the traveler wanted. Yeah. I think that, like, for me, one of the reasons why I haven't really wanted to get into Genshin is that it's like I feel like I'm like really far behind. That's, I think, the big reason why. Same. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna give my my controversial take here. The real reason why Asmongold hasn't played Genshin Impact is very simple. Sponsor. I think um, Asmon knows he is aware of how much of an impact he would cause in the Genshin community and um, in the player base if he actually started playing the game. Um, if anyone knows. Uh, about Asmon's story, you know that once he began playing Final Fantasy XIV, he created a huge inflow of players for that game. Um, so yeah, he has a, a huge, gigantic audience, and any game that he touches gains a lot of visibility, and he is bigger than any Genshin streamer. So if he touches Genshin, he knows that it's worth a lot of money. He knows it can drive a lot of money into the game. So he obviously wants a sponsorship. He's waiting for that. And uh, my my opinion is that um, they probably did not offer him as much as he wants to get. But I think eventually they're going to get there. Uh, I don't know. But that's my opinion. Yeah, you are. Exactly. I hope the Genshin team and all Genshin travelers be able to take the burden off their past names and look forward. Yeah, I don't know how they can fix that. They are fixing it by making the changes that players want. With more endgame, um, more generous rewards, um, more FTP support and things like that, and less grindy, giving players more rewards per, um, per boss kills, for exploration and so on that's part of the things that players requested but there's more things that they can do to address and keep travelers interested um, I, I just mentioned a few of them the implement a catch-up skip in 5.0 well I don't want to skip like I want to go through everything it's just that going through everything is gonna be really hard to do yeah because it, again I think it's the sponsorship question Yeah, that's great Never get into Genshin, it will ruin your life. It's too late. Yeah, I mean, this guy really seems like he's a... He seems genuine, nice guy, he's likable. 
Uh, I think this strategy, uh, yeah, I, I think the strategy of like just talking to people and hearing what they have to say is really smart. Yeah, he did what, what players have been at wanting him to do forever, which is literally go into microphone mode and address the concerns. And again, I'm not downplaying all the racial things about Netland that happened in the last couple of months. But this right here is not what that was. This has been um, one over a year now of uh, the game being downvoted in the store and the app store for both Android and Apple of people not buying characters of people leaving bad reviews and so on people leaving negative feedback and etc and even content creators um drama that has been going on so this is like uh everything it even may include a little bit of the the race thing but that's not that's like a minor thing compared to everything else that the game has experienced for the past year those photo games you played just started at any point it's never too late to get in yeah i know Zenos on Zero is better quality of life. I hope Genshin adds it. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, that's awesome. I mean, like, and you know what's really crazy about this? Look how many girls there are. Yeah, Genshin has Isn't a huge nuts? girl population. Because, like, I mean, if you go and you watch, like, for example, the Wrath of the Lich King expansion announcement at BlizzCon. It was mostly men. Bald men. <laughs> it's basically Hairy, like sweaty men. Okay? Yep. There's like three women there, and two of them don't want to be there, and the third one they met in WoW and they got married. Like, that's it. Yeah, th it's a girl game. Yep. It is. There's a lot of girls that play this game, man. There are. It's a sauce fit. Yeah, 5.0 trailer. No, it's nuts, man. Like, there's a lot of them that are really, really into this. I, I know a lot of girls that play Genshin. It's kind of surprising to me. Genshin's for teenage girls. Yeah, I, I know that. Uh, it's not just for teenage girls, by the way. <clears throat> a lot of gay guys play it as well. A lot of guys play it as well. I mean, there's like candy for everyone. Um, it's not just for teenage girls, but yeah, it's a very diverse and broad range of players and if he played it he would know it's a great game with an amazing story that everybody's very passionate about and we defend it as much as we can that's why every character in the game you know um so anyway it's actually really funny about this so there's actually been more stuff going on with genshin i thought this was kind of funny zenless zone zero on honkai star rail voice actress gets replaced after appearing to signal boost genshin impact boycott what? Yeah, there's a, again, like I mentioned at the beginning, there's a lot of voice actors that got involved into drama and either by, uh, made part of the boycott or uh, directly um, addressed players in a very bad way and are getting replaced or people are asking them to be replaced or, you know, there's a lot of drama regarding that. Wow. So take a look at this. I thought this was kind of funny. Genshin voice actor has raging breakdown on Twitter. Isn't that cute? This is her in real life. Yeah, sure. Just kidding. Back on, back on Genshin Twitter slash Hoyoverse Twitter, where some voice actors all mad and raging at people online. But first, some additional context to all of this. Hopefully you've been keeping up with my videos covering the disastrous Genshin boycott over the last month or so, yeah. where we covered how performative the entire thing's been and what a failure it's been too. Something that some people on Twitter got extra- Again, the Genshin boycott on Twitter for the ratio things is literally just restricted to North America for most part. And people are still playing the game. Um, it hasn't really had the impact um, that people hoped in the sense of um, reducing uh, player participation or anything like that. Um, nothing that um, forces Hoyo's hand uh, more than the last year has had of influence. 
extremely mad at me about, trying to insult me and send death threats and all Naturally. that typical boring stuff. But it's especially <laughs> funny, because now most of them are actually admitting that myself and the people who agreed with me have been right the entire time. So as more and more people on Genshin Twitter admit that the boycott failed, now we're seeing some Genshin voice actors attempting to rally the troops, so to speak. It's very disingenuous in my opinion, because if you really oh look at what some God. of these voice actors have done, as well as some of the Hoyo content creators too, well, they essentially put in the most- How did they think this was going to work? This is a video, like, it's just, it's so stupid to me. How can you be so fucking stupid that you think that a game which their business model is built around people having a lack of self-control are going to be able to boycott something? Yeah, the, the whole doesn't business really work. model of the game is people not having self control. It's insane. It's like going to like Alcoholics Anonymous and being like, yeah, we're going to make a uh, a support group against addiction. Oh, yeah, yeah, for sure, guys. We're, we're, you go to the Flat Earth Society and you want to talk about making a advocacy group for science. What the fuck are you thinking? Who does this? Minimal amount of effort possible into the boycott. Basically making like a few tweets near the beginning, but still going on to voice for Hoyoverse and make Hoyoverse content. In other words, making the company money and promoting it. Right. Yep. The very company that they claim to support boycotting against. Meanwhile, well, they, they don't support boycotting it. You have to understand what they support is making tweets and getting likes for the tweets. That's what they support. They don't really care about this. Expect people on Hoyoverse Twitter yeah. to do all of the actual heavy lifting. Of you course. You could say those specific days and content creators use the whole boycott for social media clout. Absolutely. And treat everyone else like a tool. It's pretty messed By up. By the way, I want to let you guys know they absolutely did that. Totally fucking fake. They will go right back to this game. If it was found out that Genshin Impact was sacrificing people. It's like every time that they make a new waifu, they have to kill a person, like Aztec style. They would they would make a tweet, I'm so upset about this. I think that they have to come out right now and apologize. And then the next time a video comes out about the game, wow, okay, I'm hyped about patch 5.2. These are the 10 things you need to do to get ready. Yeah, uh, what, he's, what they are saying here is that content creators did because of like player base pressure on North America they began you know some of them anyway um could not stay neutral and they took this player base side still making content for the game because again it's their job so they had to promote the game if they're not variety streamers if they, they're Genshin streamers they're gonna keep playing the game um there's a new banner they're going to talk about the banner and etc et so it's not really a boycott it's just like the players can claim to boycott but content creators have to produce content for the game it's how they earn their living so obviously they're not gonna stop playing the game completely and stop producing content because that's their livelihood so again um you can't really expect content creators to adhere to your boycott and play something else that's not how that works content creators that rely on the game and they have to continue playing it unless they're variety which is my case that's all they are what do you expect just really hot yeah but thankfully a lot of hoyo twitter is starting to realize this anyways as mentioned as more and more people are jumping off ship from the boycott now some of these voice actors are conveniently making a few tweets about it once again, which takes uh -oh. us to the situation. So we got this tweet from Courtney Ooh. Lynn, who says, Oof, jumping back on Twitter to say your voices matter, and I'm so proud of our community for using theirs. Retweet, email, speak up. Our community is strong. To which, normal to Our community. Great, good for her. Behavior says, So proud of my community. My community is so powerful and brave for getting rid of you. It's wonderful to let all voices be heard, but not yours. What a wonderful community. My community loves my community. <laughs> and love is love, and community is community. And we love our community. So yeah, it's now Oh, yeah, this got, got a lot of hate. Teaming around a little bit there, you know. But this got a lot of hate. Screenshot. 
With the highlighted area reading, change the English voice actors for Agents Lucy and Sukaku and replace the corresponding Ooh. voice lines. So according to VideoGames.si, Lin was voicing those two Hoyover's characters, and she was then replaced by the company. They don't specify oh. why, but it's important. Oh, too bad. Yeah. Well, what do you expect, oh. right? So she was the voice actor, and then she got replaced like, for this. Like, why, why would they expect you to, working for them, uh, go against the company you're working for? That makes absolutely no sense. I mean, um, sure, they want to look good on Twitter, but it, you shouldn't do that if it's going to cost your job. Uh, assume a neutral position, but don't, don't do that. It's just stupid. Because people in months from now won't remember that you were neutral about this issue, but you're still going to be missing a job. And um, other companies that you could be working for will remember why you got fired from Hoyoverse and will not hire you. So you're basically damaging your own career over a little bit of a player base uh, angry about... Um, ratio issues about the skin color of a certain fictional character not being dark enough yes well there we go easy way to lose a job yeah and who the and fuck damage your career exactly exactly this is what it just said to note that it doesn't look like she willingly stepped down from the way this is being handled it looks like hoyoverse did let her go they also Ooh. go on to write how lynn hasn't said anything about being cut from the hoyoverse games yep. And they say that it's unlikely to do with the recent SAG after gaming strike, as the dubs are being handled by Sound Cadence Studios and Rocket Sound, yeah. both of which are not struck. So it's rather unclear. I just love how people think that you can badmouth the company that you work at and you do contract work for, and they're not they're gonna be like, Okay. Yeah. You're gonna like actively encourage people to not buy the product that you're, you're working being paid on by the yeah. company that's selling the product. There's not a single company stupid. in the world that would accept that. What? People lack common sense, How guys. Are you being so stupid? That's what it is. What exactly occurred here? But if she willingly stepped down, it seems like that she would have also made a statement about doing so. However, once again, the only thing that I here, let me tell you what's going to be on the Zenless Zone Zero Reddit. The fact that the new character with the tail, her thighs jiggle when she walks. Let me guess, that that's probably what the whole Reddit's talking about? Probably. Yes. Most likely. Yes. There's been no such thing. I, so now, going how back to the with Courtney Lynn, the you normal DGen, she got a response from another voice actor, Ooh. Valeria Rodriguez. And she's the one who's going all rage uh -oh. mode to mention it. This is the video. voice actor for Sucrose, by the way. Everybody that knows the plays Genshin knows who Sucrose is. By the way, uh, I play the game and stream the game in Japanese, not in English. So I know who they are. I've heard their voices before, but I don't have the same connection because uh, their voices in English don't matter to me because I play the game in Japanese. Every anime game, I always play in Japanese because it's just what I associate with anime. Yeah. Uh oh, bro, this is my favorite combination right here. The gay flag and the Palestine sure flag. That's the Palestine flag. <clears throat> uh, I, I know what he's going to say, and I personally agree with that. You can be against the slaughter in Palestine and be gay at the same time, but you can't really support Palestine being gay because if you're a gay and you try to wave a, a gay flag in Palestine you're gonna be killed and hanged and executed in a public square and have bits of you litter their sidewalks for months they don't want they do not support gay people their religion and is intertwined with their state and they hate gay people it's treated by their religion exactly the same as adultery and they're very very strict with it 
So you can't really be willing. You can be waving a Palestine flag if you're gay. That's just my opinion. Um, you can be against their slaughter. You can be against they being killed. But you shouldn't really wave their flag. Because if you were there being gay, you would be killed. In, um, there's no way around that. So uh, I personally also agree that that's kind of a messed up thing to do. Oh, boy. Mexico? Is that Mexico? God, I'm a fucking retard. Okay, if that's Holy Mexico, that's shit, fine then. Never mind. Really? That's Mexico? Jesus Christ. Anyway, I was talking about Never gay mind. and Palestine flag. The if American it's Mexico, showing? it's fine. Yeah, true. This response to him that's so exceptional and lame that I'm going to have TTS repeat it. Just so, so used I don't to seeing the to. Palestine so one. Please bear with the voice. It's only going to go on for a Thank few you seconds. Live in Texas. I know. A freaking loser who is going to die <laughs> alone. And I would bet one thousand dollars that you Here are incredibly go. depressed and hate yourself. Get therapy or rot alone in your bedroom, but leave nice people out of it, nerd. Dad. Nice people. And I'm sure she's supposed to be the nice person. Yeah, she's the nice person. Yeah, <clears throat> I mean, wow. I don't know if, if Valeria Rodriguez has been fired yet, now people are responding but this example, is Harry terrible. Say, ENVAs be like, why does nobody <clears throat> like us? And then proceed to say stuff like this. I mean, you can't be a voice actor for a video game interacting with the player base in the way that Genshin VAs do. Because keep, because keep in mind that Genshin VAs job doesn't end at the game it also um has a, f a people facing role either on each presentation about the game that they actually conduct but also in events and things like that and obviously on twitter and so on when you sign a contract to be a genshin va you're with the game as long as the game exists and um you can't really be doing this this is just so bad i mean i doubt she's not gonna get fired as well if he hasn't been yet yeah just... holy shit modern vas are so fragile and unprofessional they also don't sound that great but that's an entirely different issue do you know what this what this valerie girl is doing she's making everybody excited for whenever they're gonna turn her voice into ai or you know what they'll just make a voice that's like an amalgamation of like her and 50,000 other people. Oh, they're just gonna replace her voice actor like they did with other characters that made mistakes. So that's no surprise. It has happened before. It wouldn't be the first time. She's not special. And then it'll be better and they won't have to worry about the tweets like this and that'll be it. And I don't know what she's gonna be able to do. Maybe she'll have to go work at Sonic. You know, like go like Tainara's VA was caught in some really deep problems and was replaced completely. And sure, some people miss his voice. I mean, people that listen to Genshin in English, but everybody pretty much is already over him being replaced and uh, already used to the new VA. So it's not a big issue. Go go, go give people hot dogs. <clears throat> At least AI doesn't complain. Yeah. Why does only English voice actor uh, are changed in Hoyoverse games? Oh, I don't know. Because they're the only they're ones saying, making wow, mistakes. Wow, are fragile and unprofessional. They also don't sound that great, but that's mm -hmm. an entirely different issue. Jeff they're the only ones that don't the know how to replace English voice actors with AI. Comes from English voice actors behave themselves. as employees. Almost behavior also responding, saying, "If I ever fly off on toxic rants like this, you have full permission to get me fired from Mahoyo <laughs> and also replace my voice with someone less on him." Jesus, exactly. Him, That's a, he's that a pair. completely I don't think correct. He's actually a Mahoyo voice actor. I think he's memeing yeah. around once again. Yeah, he However, is. Please correct me if I'm wrong about that. He'd get a response that reads, uh -huh. "They get real defensive when their select group of untouchables finally face the consequences of their actions. The nerve and delusion is." Well, the, here's the problem: is that. Genshin Impact is a feels-good, goofy, fun game that's a bullshit escapism game. They don't want... He's right about this. Even without playing the game, he's completely right. Genshin has saved me from my darkest moments in life. And I'm extremely grateful for the escapism it provided. And I'm fully aware of how the player base treats it, and he's correct about assuming this. 
to deal like they don't want to have <coughs> people involved in their community that are actively hostile aggressive like just and, and crazy like they don't want to deal with that why like this isn't for their audience right except a good public yeah and like in my opinion i don't really care about what this girl is saying on twitter i i i think it's so stupid when somebody says something dumb on twitter and they get fired from their job for it i'm sorry i know a lot of people like to celebrate this but like i generally like the only reason I'm happy when it happens is because they would be happy when it would happen to somebody that they don't like. And so it's like, yeah, you get what you fucking deserve. I get that, but it's still not really something I actually support. Yeah, karma? Yeah, exactly. When it's related to your job, it makes sense. This is a really good point. Yeah, no, you guys are bringing up a good point. Where like, yeah, this isn't really just her talking shit. It's her talking shit about her job inside of the scope of her career good point yeah you're right about that crazy with normal degen then responding saying i was just being mimi and over the top too you know like a joke these are the same right, people who celebrated that. 40 times harder and sincerely when vic was blacklisted oh this is exactly why people do it is because these people love to cancel other people but they get sad whenever it happens to them well what's the yeah twitter cancellation um is something that a lot of people engage in sadly um most of the time for stupid reasons sometimes for very justified reasons but that's just how it is i mean that's how things happen on twitter people get canceled sometimes for bullshit reasons sometimes for real reasons but you gotta know how to be professional and not diss the company you work for for sure the backlash to Valeria would proliferate more and more. Oh, it looks like she. Oh, oh, bro, she getting into it, huh? She would then go on her Twitter account and attempt to get her followers to join mm -hmm. in. As for Courtney Lind, this is all inadvertently making her look better because despite some of the responses that she was getting to her seemingly performative activism, at least she hasn't gone full rage mode, full aggro, something that Valeria isn't able to say. The situation actually gets worse though. Wait, what is so she full saying? Aggro, something that Valeria. I'm in the comments. Uh, I'm in the comments verbally beating haters. V Nation, join me in my crusade. Courtney is an incredibly kind and caring human being. She doesn't deserve. Yeah, this rallying up arms. followers. As so a voice like actor, to to the white knight it's just like it's that? just gonna get her fired if she hasn't been fired yet. Oh God. V, what is V Nation? Uh, it stands for Virgin. It stands for for her name, yeah, probably. But say. yeah, the situation actually gets worse though. Because... People want me fired and are tagging me hoyo because I was clapping back at racist trolls in Courtney's comments, saying I'm being mean and shit. If you don't want me to say mean shit back to you, don't say mean shit in the first place. So, if that's not the point, you have to be professional. You have to know your place. You cannot snap back at random Twitter user number 12345 that you don't even know if they played the game or not because they said something mean to another voice actor. That's not how that works. You're your public figure when you're a VA for a game and you're expected to act, especially when you're... Uh, identifying yourself as the voice actor on your main account you have to have a professional conduct the truth is that this girl would probably have no problem getting somebody fired for something that they disagree with or they don't like and this is kind of goes back to what i was saying before is that i never find it to be a bad thing to do something to somebody that they would do to you even if it's bad I think it's always deserved because if you don't want somebody to do that to you, you shouldn't have been doing that to them. Typical Karen. Yeah, exactly. She's actually right with those dumbasses, but she's hopping in at hostile and at work. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Your limit is always my limit. Yeah. Always match people's energy with this kind of stuff. So yeah, I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if she got fired or she lost her job. over. I this. wouldn't either. Valeria would make a tweet later on. That's fighting the... hate with hate? No. It absolutely is. And you have to make sure that you overpower people when you beat them down. Absolutely. Never be afraid to take the low road. Okay? I've got no problem taking the high road. But if somebody else takes the low road, you have to meet them there. Yeah. And also, um, two more things. 
first of all, you have to be consistent and you have to voice your opinions, um, not in an aggressive or over the top way and not harassing or threatening or, you know, being rude to other people, but take a stand of what you believe in positively and I'll never back down and always be consistent. Consistency is key. Um, if you tiptoe around issues, you're gonna be looked down upon. You're not. You're not gonna be. You know. Nobody will ever take your side, but always do so with grace and not treating people like she did. If you don't, you lose. Her critics have. Just being racist trolls. Obviously, criticizing mm -hmm. performative activism doesn't make they anyone racist. They go low, racist. I go lower. And as there a you go. Fact, there you similar go. to what we discussed in the beginning of this video, a lot of the Hoyoverse boycotters have also recently been calling out performative activism and discussing mm -hmm. how it didn't help the movement at all. No, of course not. I guess not. to Valeria, they would all also be racist too. There's other posts that Valeria's made in her mm -hmm. rage induced tweeting screen. However, I'm gonna wrap this up soon to save us all that brain rot. Jesus. The point is, it looks like she's willingly gaslighting her own followers. Accusing all of the critics once again of being racists. Everybody that doesn't like you is a racist. Yeah. For sure. Yeah. Uh huh. File up her own followers as her own sort of personal yeah. army. In closing, here's normal DGEN's final statement on this entire thing. Dear Diary, today I made an English Genshin Impact voice actor mad by memeing around. Oh Hundreds of students are now calling middle school baby rage powerful and talking that talk, making the contrast between the two posts Man. more apparent. I'm very proud of this. Can't wait for AI. On a final note regarding- No, this is, and, and this is what's really funny about this, is that all of these people, like, eventually their job is going to get replaced by ai completely uh i don't agree with this i don't think vas are going to get completely replaced by ai i think there's always going to be room for art uh, for artisans and people that know their craft very well and uh, it definitely lower in lower positions that's going to happen but there's always going to be space for very, very good VAs as, as in any other industry. If you're extremely good at what you do, you cannot be replaced by AI. But for the most part, he's right. Especially um, whenever a lot of uh, anime and mangas and things like that are translated by people that do not stick to the script and actually try to uh, modernize or add issues that are not presented by the writer those people are going to get replaced by ai for sure not only because it's cheaper but presents less risk because ai won't introduce things that are not supposed to be there so yeah because of both costs and risk reduction a lot of them are going to lose their jobs to ai for sure because if you're mihoyo like if i was that Dewey guy and I saw this, I would be like, guys, yo, fuck this nuclear power shit. Like, we gotta, get, we gotta get this AI voice thing. Like, we gotta get this started, like, real quick. Like, this is becoming a problem. The way, yeah, like, that's what I'd be doing. It's a fucking cartoon, exactly. Uh, the game is honestly... He is right in what he's saying, that this only increases the push for AI. Whenever he got voice actors acting up on Twitter... And uh, being aggressive with the player base and um, bad mouthing the company or politically fighting decisions the company made within the game that are not even political in nature, this just makes it way more propense that the company will eventually replace them with AI. This just forces their hand, basically. Sucks. You think the game's. I think the game looks good, personally. The game is amazing. Courtney Lynn, as we already went just, over, it was just the boring that have for seemed to indicate a period. That she was but Genshin go, is but great. By any chance, she actually Who knows? stepped down from her roles to support the Hoyover's boycott. Good for her. And I'll give her full credit for yeah. not being performative and for really taking action. If that's the case, hopefully she'll make a statement clarifying such. And I'll leave it there. 
And as always, thanks for tuning in. If you enjoyed this coverage, consider liking and subscribing. Appreciate you. Have a great day, and I'll see you in the next one. It's so fucking funny for me to see this happen, man. Uh, I'm assuming that, like, I can't probably look at a lot of these tweets, because if I do, then uh, I'm probably already preemptively blocked by all of these people. Which, to be fair, I'd do the same thing if I were them. So, yeah, again, Genshin Impact. Yeah, watch the Descendant trailer. I'll, I'll, I'll look at it. I'll look at it. Sure, we haven't covered anything for Genshin in a while. Do you know what the funniest... This is the funniest fucking thing. This actually makes me want... Like, the drama for Genshin Impact makes me want to play the game more than the actual gameplay does. Uh, yeah, because um, obviously the drama will give him a lot of... Uh... Uh, YouTube views, which is how he makes most of his money. I mean, a good part of his money. So obviously he wants to play, play Genshin for the drama as well. But again, I still believe that he won't play Genshin until Hoyo gives him a nice sponsorship. I mean, when you're a creator of his size and you would basically eclipse every single other creator for the game in North America... <clears throat> you would uh, demand a, a good contract for that. Everybody knows it. I always find it to be so fucking entertaining. I hope Country World is the same in every other company that does it, that hires these people. Yeah, I mean, and this is the funny thing, right? Is like these people are going to, they're going to be completely out of a job in a few years. Like if they keep that up, years, for sure. To something totally different. They're going to have no skills, and all they're going to have is a 10 year pattern of being disagreeable and psychotic on social media. Only fans? Um, as I said, I don't really, uh, I don't really make comments on, I try not to make comments people's on people's appearances, personal appearances yeah, me or either. sexual comments about people unless they do it to somebody else or they're doing it to me. I, I really, I really do try to do that. And I want to let you guys know that this is something that I really like doing. Like, again, I always think of the worst thing that you can say, and I've thought of something worse than that in, like, three seconds. I, 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 of course, I would say bad things, but I try to be a nice guy. You're fat shaming all the time? Well, being fat's different. I mean, that's just being fat. I mean, that's objective. Just like, that's, that's a hog. You look at a fucking hog, that's a hog. I mean, it's not a secret. That's totally different. Yeah, it's just a fact. Yeah, bro, like you look at, like that's it. It's the Michael Scott. If if you're in, I don't agree with fat shaming myself when it comes to the perspective of making a person feel bad so they will lose weight. I disagree with that. Um, I think people should be left alone the way that they are, and I wouldn't, you know, fat shame ever. I don't agree with that posture, regardless of what the health impact for the person is but you know we, we're not all the same in a small rowboat would the rowboat capsize if she was in it i mean this is this is a scientific and a physics question right it's not about how you feel about somebody it's just science okay guys it's an astute observation that's all yeah being fat is evil clearly and so yeah looks like they're probably getting removed English voice actors trying not to be insufferable and sabotage their own career, challenge impossible. Yeah, what that's these bad. Probably realize is that these people are uh, they're making other people not want to play the game, and they're pushing people away from the game because somebody will see something like that and it will annoy them, and they'll be like, you know what? I, I feel like I don't really want to play this, right? Like this is weird, right? It's it's off putting at least. And I think it also damages the escapism where like you have like this cozy, nice game and then you see the voice actor and like the voice actor is like this like unhinged fucking psycho. So yeah, I, I wouldn't be surprised if these people get replaced and lose their jobs pretty fast. So yeah, that's what they fucking get, man. Okay, um, let's talk about the video. So... As one obviously doesn't play Genshin and is unfamiliar with a lot of the things that I talked about, um, he did a, a good job in covering the drama regarding voice actors on the last bit of the video and a kind of average job at covering everything else. But yeah, I just wanted to address this because I haven't
played Genshin in a while, haven't talked about Genshin in a while, I haven't reacted to Genshin in a while, and um, I love the game, I want to go back to 5.0, um, I stopped at the beginning of Fontaine, because again, I felt Fontaine was a weak part of the, the game, but I, I, th I feel that Genshin gets a lot of undeserved hate, and uh, is underestimated a lot. When it's a fantastic, amazing, uh, escapist experience that has a brilliant, beautiful story and uh, characters that are unique and are be basically become parts of our lives. And um, if you haven't given Gitchen a chance, do so because uh, it's way better than Wuthering Waves in so many ways. But um, anyway. That was the video. I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you in the next one. Have a good night. Bye-bye.